Hello there guys, it's me and Stable Voltage. Welcome back to episode uh, 12, yes 12, of Europa Universalis 4 as Muscovy. Uh, most of the last video was actually spent beating up rebels, as a result we lost quite a lot of our manpower. We didn't have a huge amount to begin with anyway. Might have to start hiring mercenaries, but I'm attempting to try and get a little bit of a war chest saved up. We're only 6,500 men in the hole, I want to take out Lithuania... Uh, we can't really do that at the moment because we have a truce against them. We do have a CB uh, now, which is good. So it's good that we've got the CB. We also want to attack sort of Kazan and their guy. Um, we've just got to be a little bit careful here. Uh, there, there's our truce with the Nogai has ended. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm just literally uh, taking some time to let the manpower recover. Maybe get the next military tech. Get a little bit of money in the bank. Uh, we've still got um, Kazani separatists that I could deal do without dealing with. Uh, one of the reasons why I don't actually have um, any troops down here is because the uh, rebels that Kazan have keep moving backwards and forwards between their various different um, areas. Now this is partially the problem with splitting them up is that uh, their rebels keep moving through their land and, and they run into me and then I end up having to deal with them which then of course, causes me to uh, lose a lot of manpower. How many provinces are you likely to pop up in? Quite a few, and you've all got six plus. Uh, I guess Sabrisk would have as well, if it weren't for the fact that I have an army there. So it doesn't really matter uh, where I am. Let's move you over here. In the hope that 20 sat doesn't just decide to march back across and attack again, that would be pretty annoying. If that did happen, but not uh, not unexpected. Uh, well, whatever happened there, um, their rebels have just uh, disappeared. So they've obviously enforced their demands. Okay, so power projection is still not too bad. Actually, who are our rivals right now? Let's have a quick look at that. We are rivaled to... Um, we are rival to France, Denmark, and the Ottomans. Well, France are far away. Let's go ahead and... Um, I'd love to insult you. Uh, let's just bring you back from Lithuania. And um, we'll send an insult to France. And that puts us up to 50 power projection. So that won't last for very long. Embargo in France, embargo in Denmark. We're not embargoing the Ottomans... Uh, I'm assuming we should be able to issue embargo. Yeah, there we go. So that should help out. And then we'll go back to uh, fabricating on uh, Lithuania. Have they lost another province there? Um, build spy network. Oh, that, that wasn't good, but we were kind of expecting it. Um, I'm sure Lithuania had four provinces. Did they just lose one to Poland, or did they only have three? Or did they lose one to the Teutonic Order? They might have lost one to the Teutonic Order. Uh, so you've spawned there, which is good because we can get there without having to take the river crossing. You do have the numbers on me, unfortunately. Now then, the question is, can, can we first of all get there in time to stop that siege? Yes, we'll take the Patriarch Authority. Can we get there in time to stop the siege? Uh, we probably can. Are we likely to win the fight? Mm, not guaranteed. So I would sooner get both armies in position and uh, go in with both stacks at the same time. I think that's the, the safer option here. It's annoying that we've got the separatism, but I, I can deal with the separatism a little bit easier than I can the lack of manpower right now. So that's what we are going to do. Fairly decent amount of money. Could start trying to do some of these conversions. I mean, we are getting some patriarch authority. Right, okay, let's go in with both of these stacks. Hopefully the numbers will work out for us. Who's going to get there first? You're going to get there on the 30th, you're going to get there on the 31st. There's only a day's difference in it. So that gives us far superior numbers. Of course the AI did get a nice roll in there. We got one as well. Excellent. So, let's move one of those armies out. And the other one can stay there and unsiege. Good. Ah, oh, there's a bear there, look. Never noticed that before. I never really play zoomed in uh, on the map on this game. It's a real shame because the game's actually very pretty. 
when you uh, sort of just go into the uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for the t the terrain mode, and especially when you actually look at the soldiers as well. I've got pretty much all, well, I've got most. I don't think I've got all of them. There's one or two I'm missing, uh, but I've got most of the uh, DLC packs. Uh, that give you all of the, the appropriate gear for each nation. Um, but I never zoom in enough to see them. I actually should have a look, because uh, the Steam sale's on at the moment, so the, the DLC is probably uh, uh, probably reduced. And this is just after Paradox have done their rollback on prices, so this might be an excellent uh, time to try and get any DLC that you are missing. So I should certainly go and have a look at that at some point. So we're still working on Annex in the Great Horde. Uh, we're not even quite at 50% uh, yet. Uh, let's go in here and continue getting ourselves some claims on um, on what's left of Lithuania, which isn't much. Uh, yes, this was a Lithuanian core, so it looks like the Teutonic Order took that. Um, see, now what we could do... Uh, what we could do, instead of de uh, attacking the Livonian Order directly, who would bring in... Pomerania and Riga. Well, Riga's one province minor. Pomerania are also tiny small. So literally we would be fighting these guys here. In fact, we can see that if we click on there. So we'd be fighting all of the green and blue. Um, which is not that bad, to be honest. If we attack the Teutonic Order, we'd be fighting pretty much the same people. Except we wouldn't have Pomerania and Riga, but we'd be fighting Silesia. So it's kind of the same um sort of kind of the same amount of land uh, we'd be up against so it's not necessarily uh, the best idea uh, but again we're still down on manpower we are already a thousand men short now which is good uh, we still have to wait for the truce to end that's going to be the problem now of course if we do take one or both of these provinces that gives us a direct border with the two the two tonic order you have to excuse me as my voice is currently dying it's Monday today, the day I'm recording this. I've literally just come back from um, a two-day convention at LaveCon uh, for uh, Snapshot Games and Phoenix Point. So my uh, my voice is a little bit hoarse. I'm still a little bit tired. Um, that should be military tech, yes? Yes, it is. Now, as much as I want to tank that, I want to get the admin tech first because I don't want to have the unbalanced tech and cause the corruption. And we're very much admin focused, so we'll uh, we'll leave it at that. We could probably do with a little bit more on uh, diplo now. Trade efficiency, diplomatic reputation should be good. But I think we'll just wait. What have we got here? Local unrest. That's one province or lose ten prestige, and the province changes to Catholic. Changes to Catholic anyway. So local unrest, but more missionary strength. Fine. So. Does that mean we can actually change it? Yes, it does. A rebellion may pop, but who knows. Um, so what's this here? This is... Um, Materga. Where are you? All the way down there. Now, if I can actually stop any... Um, if I can actually stop any rebellions from firing uh that's better than actually having to fight them uh, you're probably in attrition land up there let's get you out of there uh, so we're back into positive manpower now although we do still need 250 to reinforce an army but then we're going to be dealing with a rebellion uh, what is your unrest here 11.4 why is that so high because you've got the separatism I mean, we could go ahead and let's just go and increase the autonomy. We'll put. We, I just. Can't, I, I need to recover my armies. I just cannot be doing with losing all of my men constantly to uh, to rebellions. So yeah, we just need this um, this to run out in fifteen ten. So it's it's only three years away. Uh, we'll be able to go and deal with that. Um, we do have an army over here. I'm sure Lithuania's army is nowhere near that large. Um, military armies. Uh, let's have them in. Okay. Don't know why it always defaults to reverse alphabetical order. Uh, Lithuania have 18,000. No, they have 3,000 men and 18,000 manpower. Lithuania have got nothing at the moment. Now, certainly by the time 
Uh, we can declare war on them. They might have recovered some, but that should be okay. But we've just got to be a little bit careful. And I do want to take out more of uh, Kazan. See, Kazan... Oh, that's Kazaki there. But yeah, we definitely want to take out more of um, Kazan. And... Uh, but we're just we're going for Lithuania first because they are um, a Christian religious group, whereas the Muslim religious group we tend to have a little bit more aggressive expansion with because we've got the Ottomans, although that is burning away. Um, but we'll do this one first. Uh, they have 82, um, 82 aggressive expansion with me, which is the highest aggressive expansion I have with a Christian nation. So if I get rid of them completely, then that makes us a little bit safer later on when we try and attack the Livonian Order or the Teutonic Order. Of course, we will get some um, we will get some aggressive expansion for doing that uh, for taking Lithuania anyway. Uh, we're not quite there yet, but we're not capped, so that's fine. The Age of Discovery still hasn't happened yet. That's a lot of splendor. Which we can't spend anyway. I wonder if it carries over. Um, yeah, maybe we'll get it on the uh, on on the next one. How long is it before that's over? Eight sixty eight months. So still a good six years. Great horde have embraced the Renaissance. That is fine. How long are these um, noble rebels going to sit down here? They've been sat in that province for like almost the entire game, and not actually really done anything. So 23%, this is another reason our Diplo is going up so slowly at the moment. We don't have a lot of Diplo points coming in and we're currently trying to uh, integrate somebody. Um, we've, I think we've got enough money actually to, to step up our advisor game here. So Diplo rep or improve relations. Diplo rep actually, Diplo rep will allow us to integrate faster. So we'll go for the Diplo rep guy and give us slightly more... Uh, you just it didn't it didn't look like it went up because we're now actually annexing the horde quicker. So even though we're gaining an extra uh we're gaining an extra diplo point per month, we're also now spending an extra diplo point per month. Um but at least it means that they'll be uh, integrated all the more quickly. Don't think we need to spend on a better military guy. Um the morale, morale of armies guys would be nice, but of course we do have limited funds. Although they are only level 2. What's the difference in cost? You're costing us 1.34. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's go for the morale of armies, guys. Let's let's try and, and sort of stay... Um, well, not ahead of the curve, but let's try and keep up with the curve in terms of tech. Uh, that should help us out. So we're actually regaining manpower now, which is good. A lot of the rebellion... Um, Lost a claim on... Oh, right. So, okay. All of the claims that we got for the mission have just ended. Uh, so, we might have to just dump the mission. Um, national tax modifier. Sure. Uh, let's get the extra money in. Disloyal estates, but that's fine. Yeah, we left it too long on Kazan. Let's go ahead and cancel that mission. We'll pick another one up when it, the time's more appropriate. Let's not have all the Ot the Ottomans just sit all of their men down here and take attrition, and I have no idea why. Not too sure what they are planning. Right, we can take our admin tech. Let's go ahead and do it. We can take our military tech now. Um, so that puts us ahead of time. Let's go ahead and change our infantry up. So we can take another idea group. Now, I spoke about going for religious ideas. Which is probably what we want to do. Um, missionary strength versus heretics. See, Deus Vault is probably the best thing there. If we go for humanist, gives us more religious unity. Reduced national unrest. Tolerance of heretics. Years of separatism. Improved relations. Do you know what? I think we're going to go humanist. I think humanist just works out to be better. Um, so we're going to take the humanist ideas. Because uh, we'll, we'll get religious unity through that way anyway. Now then, Austria, you are my ally. You do like me, which is good. Uh, we could improve relations a little bit more. Uh, Lithuania, are you at war? You are not. Um, can we get anything else from you? No, we cannot. So we might as well bring you back. A military leader has left us, most unfortunate. 
Uh, let's go back and improve relations with Austria for a bit anyway. Uh, so you've lost your leader. Let's go ahead and get another. Oh, you've got quite a lot of manoeuvre. You're not particularly fantastic. You've got no siege, but you're not terrible either. Looks like Serbia's been eaten up a little bit by a combination of Hungary and Venice. And uh, Bosnia's been taken uh, over a little as well. So yeah, we will get in here and start doing some stuff. At least we've actually got some manpower back in now. Uh, we are just over a year away from being able to attack the Levo um, Lithuania, which we will do. It looks like they're in another war, actually. Ah, yes, they're now in a war against the Teutonic Order, which is quite annoying. However, if the Teutonic Order do take that area, then that will allow us to um, just attack the Teutonic Order anyway. Although it looks like it's uh, the Livonian Order's war. Yeah, so we may end up just having to attack the Livonian Order. We've already got a claim on this, so if the Livonian Order take it, then it does give us, give us a claim against them. So that's probably what's going to end up happening here. It's... A bit unfortunate, but we do what we have to do. Uh, we probably still have a CB on some of these provinces, because I think there was at least a couple where we uh, got a manual claim. Okay, maybe not. But we'll we'll still uh, we'll still attack them at some point anyway. Right? Okay. Um, force limit. <clears throat> we can get another three troops to make these into a nice even number. Um. Let's go ahead and get a second cannon in each one of these. Let's go ahead and start making use of artillery now. We can select a new mission. Create a proper fleet, which we can't do. Rival of a rival, which is Castile. Or protect our brethren in Zappa for something. Um, Zap Zappo. Yes. You are here. You belong to the Ottomans. Yeah, I think we'll ignore that one. Let's go rival of our rival. And try and improve some relations with Castile. Um, gained a CB against the Livonian Order. Yeah, because the Livonian Order have taken that. Um, I still intend to take this anyway from Lithuania. Because that'll be an easy fight. Uh, let's go ahead and get you improving relations over here. We will have to bring you back uh, when we are ready to declare the war against Lithuania. It's only a single province, so we might as well... Oh, you're actually allied with Poland. But Poland are a three, four province. So we could even just take the rest of Poland now as well, or a good chunk of Poland. We could take these three provinces. We can't attack Poland directly because Poland are being guaranteed... No, Poland are not... No longer being guaranteed by Hungary. Interesting. Uh, so this might actually work out for us here if we attack Lithuania first. So we just need to wait for that truce to run out. This could work out nicely. Um, let's go ahead and bring another army up here just for backup. Let's try and have you a little more central. Um, we do potentially have some Crimean separatists, to be fair. So let's keep you down here. Just so that you can deal with... Where, where are you likely to pop? Where are you telling me you're going to pop? Um, Azov and Kizil Yar. So here and here. Now I'm just going to literally start getting rid of... Um, uh, just bumping up the autonomy where I can. Just so we don't have this issue. Hopefully that didn't harm our man uh, force limit too much. It didn't look like it did. Uh, you are no longer in a war. Poland is in a war with the Lithuania, uh, Livonian order. So let's move you down here. Uh, it won't be long before we can start this battle. Which is very good. That annexation is taking absolutely forever. It's been at it for a long time. Yeah, we will have to pull the um, diplomat back from Castile. But we only need to just pull him back while we, do, while we are declaring the war. This could be exciting. Okay, is that Lithuania's war over? It is. It's, no, Poland. Poland have lost this province here to um, to the Teutonic Order. But that's fine. We can take these two provinces from them. Uh, that's not an issue at all. Let's go ahead and just quickly bring back 
um, the diplomat there. Oh, we're getting some more manpower. Very nice. Thank you very much, game. So, we're going to attack Lithuania, which will allow us to attack Poland and take these two provinces. Our truce with Lithuania has ended. We do need to wait for our uh, diplomat to return. There he is. So, let's go ahead and declare our war. Uh, they will bring Poland in. We're not going to co-belligerize Poland. We could bring Austria in if we wanted to, but we don't really need to. We'll save that one for another war. Uh, we're just going to... Right, how can I not march in on you? I was going to say, how, how on earth do you claim that I am blocked? When I'm in my own territory. Okay, so that is you... Um, Let's detach a siege there, move you over there. You are taking unhealthy amounts of attrition. Um, let's split off an army. Uh, actually, let's do it this way. Let's detach a siege, move you over here. And then we will... Um, split off a single infantry. We will give you the leader... Um, this is why I always pause this game when I do stuff. Uh, who do you have? Bellary. So you can lead that and move in over there for those guys. Excellent. We can call in our allies, but we don't want to. Uh, you've done. Let's move you out of there. Let's detach you and move you out of there. Just trying to avoid taking unnecessary attrition. And, of course, we have a... Um, Oh, two rebellions. Both of these rebellions are in the Horde's territory. Um, they are pretender rebels, so that makes no difference to me at all. So we'll just leave them there. Excellent. So what we're trying to do now is just get this war over relatively quickly. And I don't think it'll take long, to be honest. Um, we could try and get over there and take some more stuff from Poland. Do we have any open borders? Do we have a way of getting there? Could we get access through um, Teutonic Order? Looks like we can. Not too sure if Poland have got any more men over here. We'll go and have a look. This might be a little bit risky, but we'll see what happens. Uh, as our diplomat is now back, let's go ahead and continue working on Castile in the meantime. All good stuff. And, um, oh, another rebellion. That is um, Great Horde again. They've now got peasants fighting uh, pretenders. That is fine. Uh, but I'm going to go and pause the video here because we've gone over the 20-minute mark. I hope you guys are still enjoying EU4. I'll see you on the next video. And until then, goodbye for now.